Hi guys, it's Christy here, welcome back to my channel. Today I thought I would do a video on what are the main differences between Crohn's disease and ulcerative colitis. They are both forms of inflammatory bowel disease and I'll refer to inflammatory bowel disease as IBD throughout this video, but there are a lot of differences between these two forms of IBD. Today I'm gonna to talk a little bit about what the main differences are and also the similarities. I do have Crohn's disease myself, so I could talk at length about Crohn's disease, um, but uh, this is gonna be about what the differences are between Crohn's disease and ulcerative colitis. Maybe this will be useful for those of you who have one of the conditions and you want to understand more about the other, or maybe you're new to being diagnosed with one of the conditions and you really want to understand what that means for you and um, more about IBD in general. Or perhaps you're a family member and one of your family has recently been diagnosed and you just want to understand more. So today I'll go through the main differences and um, just a little bit about the symptoms of each form of IBD. So before we jump into the video, I have tweaked my lighting a little bit and I've also got a new microphone. I got the Blue Snowball. My sister kindly gave it to me. She is a singer, so she gave me this microphone. So hopefully the lighting and the audio will be a bit better going forward. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you enjoy these types of videos and give this video a like if you like it. Also, leave a comment down below with any questions you have and I'll certainly get back to you. I have done a little bit of a Blue Peter job. So here is something I created earlier. So here we are here. <laughs> this is something that I printed off from online. So I will link down below where I got this from. But this is basically um, a picture of the digestive system. So this will help me to um, sort of explain a little bit about, about Crohn's and ulcerative colitis. But basically I'll explain what is IBD? So it's where your immune system attacks your digestive system and it can cause um, inflammation and pain throughout the digestive system um, as well as ulcers. So it's really a painful condition. It doesn't have a known cause. So it's, it's quite difficult for those that get diagnosed because they don't know why it's happened. Um, so actually finding treatments is quite difficult. They don't have a cure, but they do have a lot of treatments that can get um, IBD into remission. So you can go forward living quite a relatively normal life, um, but it can be a struggle to get into remission. I'll jump into what Crohn's disease is. So Crohn's disease um, affects any part of your digestive digestive system so it can affect your mouth up here um, it can affect your esophagus your stomach here the orange part it can affect your small bowel so this wiggly part here and then your large intestine so that's called your colon so this whole green section and then your rectum and your anus which is the blue section here so Crohn's can affect any part um, it tends to be sporadically placed if that makes sense so you tend to have patches of ulceration and inflammation um, so you might have a patch here a patch here a patch here it tends to be sporadically placed throughout the digestive system ulcerative colitis on the other hand affects the um, large intestine only so it affects this whole green section of the colon um, the rectum and the anus both are you know share a lot of common areas um, so one condition can be misdiagnosed for the other. So someone who has been diagnosed with ulcerative colitis might have Crohn's and vice versa. So it is very important to make sure that your diagnosis is the correct one so that you can get treated correctly. Um, it is easy to get misdiagnosed because some of the symptoms are so similar, but a lot of the treatments can vary between the conditions. So I guess I'll run through what the symptoms are, um, the different symptoms as well as the common symptoms, and we'll sort of go from there. It is practically winter outside, but it is so hot in here that I have a little fan going on, but I am absolutely roasting. Um, I do have some information printed out here. As I said, I have Crohn's and I've had it for a really long time. I've had it for 17 years, but um, so I could talk at length about you know my personal experience, but I do want to get sort of the general sort of symptoms out there, um, as well as talk about ulcerative colitis, which I don't have. So I have printed out some information here. So if I look away, I'm just referring to my notes. Let's start with the common symptoms between Crohn's and ulcerative colitis. So both share weight loss. 
So dramatic and sudden weight loss. That is also accompanied by severe diarrhea, um, blood in the stool as well. And it can be very sort of uh, an anxious time whenever you're in the middle of a flare up and you need to go to the toilet 30 times a day. And often you're not near a toilet. It can cause a lot of stress and anxiety. So um, as well, a lot of fatigue comes with the condition. So constant tiredness as well as feeling oh I'm actually okay today and then all of a sudden oh my god I really need to sleep here so that is a common symptom between ulcerative colitis and Crohn's disease as well nausea and vomiting as well as associated fever um, is a common symptom as well so uh, I would just I remember whenever I was in a really bad flare I would just get these overwhelming episodes of you know sweating so I would wake up in the middle of the night you know drenched in sweat I would be in work and I would just suddenly break out in this massive sweat where if I didn't cool down in time I would be, be physically sick um, so nausea vomiting and fever are common um, symptoms of IBD and then um, the sort of last common symptom that I'm going to mention today though there probably are a, a lot more um, is loss of appetite so because food it obviously goes through your digestive system and IBD affects the digestive system. Um, food just causes so much pain. So your body just sort of lowers your appetite and makes you just not want to eat because it associates eating with pain. So um, that obviously contributes to the weight loss as well. But that is, um, again, a common symptom of IBD. So let's jump into some of the... Uh, differing symptoms between Crohn's and ulcerative colitis. So I'll start with Crohn's. Um, as I said, it can affect any part of the digestive system. So your pain can really be anywhere. Um, if you're talking about intestinal pain, Crohn's disease pain tends to be in the lower right side, whereas ulcerative colitis tends to be on the lower left side. Another thing that people can have is called um, fistulizing Crohn's. That's, so that is where you get fistulas. So these are little tunnels that sort of dig their way from your abdominal area. So your small intestine, for example, they sort of dig their way out to the abdominal surface. So you'll have this little opening that may um, sort of seep fecal matter and things like that. And it's they can get easily infected, these openings, and they need to be constantly cleaned and dressed. Um, you can have fistulas um, sort of towards your anus area. It can be, your fistulas can be anywhere really. Um, but I luckily don't have fistulizing Crohn's, so I don't know personally too much about it, but that is something that um, can come along with Crohn's disease. Another specific uh, symptom of Crohn's is sort of extra intestinal symptoms. So you can get problems with your skin. I've certainly had um, a lot of like eczema issues whenever my Crohn's is bad. You can get erythema nodosum. So these are sort of raised, bruised lumps on the skin. I got mine in my arms and my legs. I got problems with my eyes. So you can get episcleritis in your eye. So that's where you almost get like an ulcer in your eye. Um, problems with your joints. So you get rheumatoid arthritis. Um, that's because uh, again, rheumatoid arthritis is an inflammatory condition so um, the immune system sort of sets that off as well whenever you have Crohn's or it can. Another thing that people can get associated with Crohn's disease is inflammation of the liver. I've personally never experienced that but um, that can cause a lot of uh, you know <sighs> further complications down the line. So that is another specific symptom of Crohn's disease. So let's jump into some of the specific symptoms of ulcerative colitis. And to really get into that, you need to understand that there are different sort of types of ulcerative colitis. So again, I'll bring up my little diagram. So what you can get is something called ulcerative proctitis. So this is inflammation in the area closest to the anus. And that sort of generally tends to manifest itself in a lot of um, rectal bleeding and pain in that area. So it tends to be limited to this area and it is sort of, you know, the mildest form of ulcerative colitis. Then you can get something called proctosigmoiditis. <laughs> 
<laughs> so that is limited to the rectum anus area and then the lower part of the colon and this is sort of accompanied by symptoms of bloody stools, um, urgency, diarrhea and um, pain in the lower left side. Next you have left sided colitis so that is everything I've mentioned before plus this descending area of colon right here. Again all the same symptoms as well as a lot of weight loss and air uh, pain in the left hand side of the abdomen. The next type of ulcerative colitis is pan colitis so that affects the whole colon, uh, rectum and anus so that can be all the symptoms I've uh, mentioned before plus fatigue, chronic fatigue as well as significant weight loss because such a large area is affected and then the most severe form of ulcerative colitis is severe acute ulcerative colitis so that again affects this whole colon area but is very very acute causes a lot of pain and a lot of weight loss diarrhea um, really really acute symptoms so that is um, a more severe form of the condition and um, the main thing about ulcerative colitis is because it affects um, this large intestine area people can actually live without their large intestine so they can remove the whole colon and leave um, a stoma which is where they bring out your small intestine out onto your abdomen and they give you what's called a bag and that's where you collect all your fecal matter. They can often leave um, part of the colon if they ever want to reattach it. I think what I'll do is I'll leave it here. I think I've gone through quite a lot here and I would probably like to make another video on the different types of treatments for ulcerative colitis versus Crohn's. A lot of the treatments are the same but some are different. Um, there are a lot of different treatment options so you have steroids, you have immunotherapy, you have sort of localized medication that only releases in the bowel. So a lot of different treatments that are used for a lot of other conditions as well. I have personally tried a lot of different <laughs> medications so I can personally testify as to how effective they were for me but that is obviously my personal experience. So um, let me flip back around here. <laughs> Uh, I really hope you enjoyed this video, this sort of introductory session into what are the main differences between ulcerative colitis and Crohn's disease. I hope you find it helpful. If you do want to see a further video on the different types of treatments, um, please leave a comment and like this video. Um, thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to follow me on all my other social media. So I have an Instagram, it's Christy88J, as well as Snapchat, Christy88J. Um, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!